Hi there graders, happy Friday. Today we are going to be reading chapter 10. Chapter 10. Lolly was a lumpy woman who spoke too loudly and who wore too much lipstick. She entered the house and immediately spotted Edward sitting on the living room couch. What's this? She said. She put down her suitcase and picked Edward up by one foot. She held him upside down. That's Susanna, said Nellie. Susanna, shouted Lolly. She gave Edward a shake. His dress was up over his head and he could see nothing. Already, he had formed a deep and abiding hatred for Lolly. Your father found her, said Nellie. She came up in a net and she didn't have no clothes on her, so I made her some dresses. Have you gone, Skivvy? Rabbits don't need clothes, shouted Lolly. Well, said Nellie, her voice shook. This one seemed to. Lolly tossed Edward back on the couch. He landed face down with his arms over his head and his dress still over his face. And he stayed that way through all of dinner. Why do you have that old high chair out? shouted Lolly. Oh, don't pay it no mind, said Nellie. Your father was just gluing up a missing piece, wasn't you, Lawrence? That's right, said Lawrence without looking up from his plate. Of course, after dinner, Edward did not go outside and stand beneath the stars to hang out with Lawrence. And Nellie, for the first time since Edward had been with her, did not sing him a lullaby. In fact, Edward was ignored, forgotten about, until the next morning when Lolly picked him up again and pulled his dress down over his face and stared him in the eye. Got the old folks bewitched, don't you? said Lolly. I heard you. I heard the talk in town. They've been treating you like a rabbit child. Edward stared back at Lolly. Her lipstick was bright and bloody red. He felt a cold breeze blow through the room. Was the door open somehow? Well, you don't fool me, she said. She gave him a shake. We'll be taking a trip together, you and me. Holding Edward by the ears, Lolly marched into the kitchen and shoved him face down in the garbage can. Ma, Lolly shouted. I'm taking the truck. I'm going to head out and do some errands. Oh, came Nellie's tremendous voice. That's wonderful, dear. Goodbye, then. Goodbye, thought Edward as Lolly hauled the garbage out to the truck. Goodbye, Nellie called again, louder this time. Edward felt a sharp pain somewhere deep inside his china chest. For the first time, his heart called out to him. It said two words, Nellie, Lawrence. Ooh, third graders, that's the end of chapter 10. I want you to think to yourself about what is this rabbit, Edward Tulane, thinking right now? How do you think he's feeling right now? And did you find any evidence in the text to support that claim? All right. Have a wonderful weekend, third graders. I miss you so much. It was great to see you on Thursday. Don't forget that we will have our very first Monday Zoom on Monday. Still waiting for a few more replies on that survey about what time works best for families. But once I have um, about eight replies, I'll go ahead and make that decision about what time of day. It's looking like it'll probably be um, in the morning or in the afternoon. It won't be an evening one. All right. Bye, third graders.